Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I still have the frostbite spell collected. Yeah, selected there. Nothing new here. Yeah, you're gonna want to attack the guards. Like, if you'd like attack the guards and kill them, you pretty much screw up your chances to beat the game. Like, it won't it won't end outright, but it basically creates a dead end. So we're just gonna sleep until morning. You are summoned to the Hall of Kings. Where's Elsa? Silmaria has suffered the afflictions of war, invasion, and regicide. People have been murdered on the streets, and we were helpless to stop the assassin's poison. By the rights of rulership, we have peace. Now it is time that we have justice as well. The assassin of our king has been justly punished for his crimes. The Prince of Shapir has completed that portion of this rite. It is now his duty to complete this rite. Prince of Shapir, who is it that hired the assassin? Who is it that started the war between those of Atlantis and ourselves? Who hired the mercenaries? Who had the king killed? all the other victims of the assassin. Now, once again, it doesn't really matter what you choose here. There's several ways you can go about this. How should I know? She is no doubt trying to discover the real culprit behind these crimes instead of asking meaningless questions. Well, we're here to listen to me mention who hired the assassin, not Elsa. I'm the one who completed this right, so I don't know where the hell they pulled this line of dialogue from. It just doesn't really make any sense. I mean, granted, we know that we're trying to weed him out here, but from an omniscient standpoint, this line doesn't really make sense. Why are you telling me about this assassin? Surely you don't believe that I have anything to do with this. And once again, we're playing the, you know, Instead of keeping my mouth shut, I'm gonna reveal more than more than than you know. I'm letting on, cause well, why wouldn't you want to know about the assassin? You know, from an, an omniscient point of view, why wouldn't you want to know about the assassin? Obviously, you know, he's got a candidate who's trying to be king here. Wouldn't you want to know? You know that the goings on around here, whatever. So Bruno confessed before he died. And you believe an assassin's word against my reputation? We didn't mention we his did name. We did not mention the assassin by name, Minos. Then enough of this. I will rule Simari despite your foolish contests. I have the prophecy stone in my possession. One by one, I have fulfilled the omens of destruction. You will crown me king of Silmaria, or I shall release the doom that befell Atlantis, and the dragon will destroy you all! Gods, seize him! Now if you can see right there, it's kind of small. Obviously he's got the prophecy stone in his hands. Prince of Shafir, I rely upon you to stop Minos. If Minos breaks the prophecy stone, then Silmaria will be devastated and Atlantis completely destroyed. I will seek what allies I can find, but time is critical. I will send you directly to Minas on the fastest ship Silmaria has. Go now, and may the furies of vengeance ride with you. Well, this is the second time the bad guys have got away with the mystic magnets. We're gonna have to talk to Chakra about that. Yay! Now, I'm gonna not hit OK here real quick, because I want to mention something. Now, if you, like, you notice when I pointed it out, um, if not, just go rewind the video and look at it again. Minos has the Prophecy Stone in his hands, and that's not the first time he's actually had it in his hands when in the Hall of Kings. It's at least, at least one other part where I did notice it. And I couldn't say anything, because I'm like, I'm gonna spoil this whole game here. Now, even though Elsa mentioned a little while ago that she suspected Minos, obviously now her suspicions, you know, and the reality of it are made clear here. However, I don't know if I should dis d d if I can decide this is a sheer br uh, stroke of idiocy or a stroke of brilliance. Go back and watch the introduction again, because I bet you, pretty much all of you, myself included, 
when I first played this game, has forgotten all about the introduction. Who, in the scene where it talks about, you know, the dragon and the prophecy and whatever, that is very clearly Minos with the prophecy stone, and even though obviously you can't see his face and recognize him, you know, he's sending Bruno off to assassinate people, so... I mean, it is very, I mean, his, his face is not even concealed. That is very clearly Minos. But yet, they don't introduce him in the game right away. Probably, I'm guessing it was probably somewhat intentional. Um, that they don't make him appear till later. Because by then, you've probably all forgotten all about the face, in, you know, face in the introduction. And don't equate it with Minos right away until you get to this point and then you th it, then if you think about the introduction you're gonna be like oh shit how did I not realize this the whole time Ugh. like I said I, I, I can't decide whether that's a stroke of brilliance that they made you forget about it or ADC because they spoiled the whole plot of the game right from the get-go can't decide up to you guys whatever but Elsa is still missing I'm gonna save my game here Okay, now we're on Minos's island here. And we gotta find a way in. Screw the alarm, and screw looting the bodies. That's not what we're here for. Now, now stupidly, you have to kill everybody on the screen before you can even open the gate. Like, using the open spell won't even work. Yeah, we're not close enough to that guy yet. Unless you've, like, defeated all the guards, so... There we go. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, it's going right through the wall. Nice. Yeah, for some idiotic reason it won't let you open it. Without killing all the guys. So let's run over here and then point our spell and annihilate these bastards. These looks like Metroids or something. They're just like, you know, so susceptible to the cold. At least we don't have to need missiles to keep, get rid of them. get points for walking in here and look more centaur wizards now obviously we got the augment spell a long time ago so we do not need to kill them in a traditional way so we're just gonna cast well first we're gonna take care of the goons here and I did not mean to cast the open spell on them we're gonna cast trigger on their staffs ready And it literally blows them to smithereens. Put this stuff's over here. That is hilarious and disgusting at the same time. But obviously if you do that, there's gonna be no loot to be had. If you can if you defeat them the normal way, yeah, you will get the augment scrolls from them again. But I never use that spell in the game game because frostbite annihilates pretty much everything, so. I don't think you can go in these rooms. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to go to... No, I wanted to go over here. And look at this door. Hmm. So I'm going to save my game. Yes. Obviously that's from my first run. Now obviously that door doesn't have... block on it, so we just open it right up with our open spell. This gate is locked and they took away my equipment. She's over here, so by the way. you have made it all the way here, despite my guards and protections. You really are a most persistent hero, aren't you? You would have actually made a good king of Silmaria. Pity you are the very instrument of Silmaria's destruction. That is, of course, unless you die. Guards! You idiots! Get in here! Well, I killed them. So you want to take this over here. This is um, Elsa's toolkit. She's obviously, you know, being 
the leader of the brigand, Spielberg. Getting hurt. Get me my toolkit near the chest so I can help you. There we go. Thank you. I will disarm this trap quickly. Do what you can. Go around. And the minotaur just kind of sits there. Whoops. Now it's my turn to get even here. I did not mean to severely hurt you, Elsa. No, turn away from Elsa. I don't want to kill her. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. You think you have won, do you? You are mistaken. <coughs> I will not be defeated. I will destroy Um, he's supposed to be actually over here. <laughs> I hold the prophecy stone in my here. Hand. When it breaks, the dark dragon will rise to destroy all of Silmaria. If I cannot rule what is rightfully mine, then I shall destroy it. You cannot stop me. No one can stop me. I am your doom. Minos is as dead as he can be. I do not think many will mourn for him. He has done his best to destroy Silmaria. We are in very big trouble now. Okay. I'm just gonna stop the game right here for just one second to talk about something. Obviously, we just saw Minos just jump off the balcony and break the prophecy stone, and thus the dragon is gonna be free. I have a couple problems with this. Number one, why does it need to smash the prophecy stone? Now, you could get around this by saying you know, like the dragon pillars, it has to be broken in blood. You know? However, number one, he just died instantly from, like, jumping, like, ten feet off a balcony. You're not going to die from jumping ten feet off a balcony. You might break a few bones in the process, and you would be in a lot of pain, but you're not going to die. Not unless you, like, one of your ribs, like, just punctures one of your organs and you internally bleed to death. But that takes quite a bit of time, and, uh, you know, internal bleeding doesn't splash blood in the prophecy stone. So, I just don't get it here. I mean, I think it would have made more sense if he took one, like, took a dagger and, like, just stabbed himself in the heart with it. You know, I think that would be, you know, not only would it, yeah, kill him pretty quickly, but, you know, possibly, if it's necessary, for blood to be spilled in the Prophecy Stone, adequately, you know, serve that purpose at the same time. This this whole falling ten feet off a balcony and dying and breaking the Prophecy Stone in the process it doesn't work for me. It really friggin' doesn't. So, one thing I want to do... Is where's my put some put some fireproofing potion on? Thank you. I'm gonna save my game. Oh crap! I can't save my game. And we want to loot the minotaur. We get the minotaur axe. Uh oh. Music. Look what I found. We may need these soon. Okay. So what we want to do is use some fireproofing potion. And no, nope, we don't want to do that. We want to just open it. Oh, it's trapped. Okay. And there's my trigger stuff. And cast open. And take all the stuff. Now you want to examine Minos's body rather quickly. You can kick him. But what you want to do to trigger the next sequence, because you will die if, you know, see it's here, all the music's going faster. Eventually, you will die here, because the dragon does escape before you can go attack it. So we want to search his body. 